Greetings friends, it's Denise again with Denise's Dancing Paintbrush and another collage of a little girl in the winter time. My original uh, photo reference did not have any snow in the picture, but I drew some in because, well, I kind of like it. And I started with a dark blue background, almost black in places always variegated. You never want the same shade of color um, anywhere on your picture, you know, in, in huge flat uh, planes, because then that would make it look rather cartoonish um, and unreal. And, um, and so I like the, you know, variegated colors simply because a lot of these magazine pieces don't give me exactly the same color um, in large measure. I'm using rubber cement to hold all these down and as you can see if the paper is just the tiniest bit thinner than I like it will soak through the paper um, just for a little while until it dries completely and so you see those little um, ghosty images of the glue underneath the paper. It'll go away as soon as it dries you see those ghosty images there on the left are gone now. I found a huge photo of a, um, a page from, um, well, I thought it was from a passport. It says U.S. Immigrations. So I think it must be some sort of a passport, but it was just the right color of blue with little bits of red and pink in it. And I thought, oh, wouldn't that make great shadows on the drape that she has thrown over her head? <laughs> so if you look carefully, you can see uh, lots of words in there that um, I didn't really intend to be part of the image, but the colors were just right. And that's half the fun, is searching for just the right, the colors and tones and shades. It looks like black that I'm putting on her face around the rim of, of her drape, but it's really a very dark blue, a navy blue. And then I cut out the shapes of her eyes and put in the whites of the eyes, which also are not white. They're um, kind of a, a, a pale gray, almost a blue gray. And then a, a sort of a, I wouldn't call it pink. It's a, more like a, 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 an off color of red for the corners of the eyes and black for the, for the iris of the eye. And now I'm going to put in also something that wasn't in the photo reference, a couple of pine branches. Now I did this on the last picture that I was um, making as a um, an image that I'll use later for a Christmas card next year, well technically this year. And, um, and I really liked it. It was kind of fun playing with all these tiny pieces, plus I had a lot of the green and the gold and the dark blue um, that I cut for the pine branches. So I went ahead and I used it in the corner of this picture. I thought it would fit with the theme and the image. So I got to use up my little tiny cut pieces for a uh, pine branches. And now it's time to start putting in the facial tones. I'm using browns and kind of orange gold browns. You'll always want uh, anything that's alive, human tissue, <laughs> to have a warm feel to it, not a cold feel, um, mainly because 
if you make it grayish or bluish or cold, it will look dead. <laughs> and I don't want this little girl to look dead. <laughs> So I made sure to use lots of warms. And the warm against the coolness of the drape around her head, that works. That really works. It's a good juxta juxtaposition, if I can say that right. And so, I put her eyes in place, it's time to work on her fingers. Well, sometimes having long nails really is an asset for, for working with some of these tiny pieces and sometimes it is not. I end up getting rubber cement all over the tips of my fingernails and then um, everything I touch moves and sticks to my fingernails and I think I've dropped it and I look all over the floor and there it is stuck to my fingernail. But that's, that's the way it is. I've always had long fingernails. I, I don't even have to work at it. I don't know why. It must be a hereditary thing. And so now it's time to put on little bits of paper for snow. And snow also is not all white. It's off-white, kind of an eggshell and some light blue and there it is she's all done what do you think i put in a few words and a few little photos i always like to put in a few little uh, photos children laughing things like that thanks so much for watching all the way to the end so lovely having you spend time with me and I hope you give me a thumbs up that really helps my channel and do come again and see what I'm cooking up next time bye everyone happy new year